Art Mismer is vice president at RMA Worldwide Chauffeured Transportation, a company that for 35 years has been renting luxury chauffeured cars to its clients. Mismer says one thing has changed dramatically. About two decades ago, their fleet had over 30 limousines. Today, they have two. There was a certain cachet to the idea of being in the back of a limousine. Over the years, things change, right? It became something that uh, was not looked down upon so much, but frowned upon in many ways. Robert Alexander, the president of the National Limousine Association, says things started to change drastically after the 2008 financial crisis. Then we would up, give them a free upgrade to the limo, and it, it all of a sudden said, you cannot send stretch limousines. We'd rather have five sedans. There than one, you know, than one stretch limousine, just because it was sending the absolute wrong message. One of the reasons limos have fallen out of fashion was because the new generation of American billionaires opted instead for so-called quiet luxury, in contrast with the fantastic displays of power and status of decades long past. The late '80s or something, showing your wealth was was something you did. You had the Mont Blanc pen and the Rolex watch and, and the $5,000 suit. And of course, you were getting out of a stretch limousine. That was the lifestyle you were trying to promote. Ed Lane's job is to organize trips for professional athletes. He too can't remember the last time his clients requested a stretch limousine. You get an occasional mini bus as well. But uh, most of the time it's chauffeured car and driver and everyone wants to be in the SUV versus the stretch. A lot of our guests just want to be transported in, you know, be behind the scenes, be quiet. Miss Mer says these days limousines are mostly used in funeral processions. As for business meetings and trips, as well as various parties, people tend to pick minibuses or minivans. These vehicles are easier to maneuver and park than limos, and they include elements of luxury like leather seats, internal lighting and champagne glasses. Karina Befredjin for VOA News, Washington.